Alright, let's get started here with the game. We are on Dragonshire and our blue team on the left side of the map is for great honor and they have Uther, Nova, Kerrigan, Chen and in the bot lane, Mrs. Brightwing. Mrs. Brightwing indeed. And in the top, on the right hand side of the map in the red trunks, we have Rhaegar who was at a top player but seems a bit indecisive. In the mid lane it is Valor, Arthas and Tyrael. And in the bot lane, who is now in the top lane, very indecisive team, it is Johnny on the Falstad. And we have a fight in the mid lane straight away, but it's just trading blows. Okay, so as you expected, I do have to fix my audio levels. Okay. So will, they are pretty low, I'll get that fixed I will fixed attempt up. radio cast while you are fixing those. Currently, Falstad playing it safe in his top lane. There is a Chen looking for a gank on him. Kerrigan and Ufa are also in that area, but they're not going to go in for a kill. They've now headed towards the mid lane brush, looking for a jump onto Valor, who's now pretty far forward, but the Nova on the team of uh, For Great Honor has had to back out here due to being oh, engaged. Reese is in trouble there, and he gets, he gets taken out, looking to get a little bit more damage done, but not going to happen. Naps, of course, uh, getting out of that fight. Yep, that was a really good engagement by Team Potato there, but they weren't able to get the kill off because of the counter engage by Four Great Honor with the Ufer and the Kerrigan coming up. In the bot lane, however, pretty passive. It's Brightwing doing what Brightwing does. Just going to start clearing this lane a bit. Faustad going to start taking the top shrine, but needs to be careful because there's currently three people coming up. Johnny backing out, not even going to finish taking the shrine, just backing up and is going to fly out of there just to make 100% sure stay safe. And Nova is about to fight Nande in the mid lane. Yep, um, but Nande, of course, backing off, trying to get in between those uh, minions just to stay safe. And she's doing a good job with that, um, just not overextending whatsoever. And that's especially important now that our Kerrigan and Uther are moving back into the mid lane. Yep, this is true. There's a lot of people gathering around the mid lane right now, Ooh, looking for an opportunity. Now Nande needs to watch out, and Shen it. moves in. But there delayed is the on Nande there, but he's now coming back in, going to send off the, the multi shot, do some damage. The Arthur's taking a bit of damage, but he's healing himself up. And Rhaegar has joined the fray. Everyone except Falstad is currently in this mid lane. And Falstad has just taken top shrine. He could now fly mid lane and attempt to help them take the shrine. But it would be too late because Kerrigan has already gone to that bot lane and is taking back the moon shrine. Yeah, Team Potato definitely had to capture that moon shrine just to um, fight fight in the middle there again. And not, uh, not overextend next to the dragon shrine. Now they only have Nova next to it. Oh my god. And, ooh, look at that. Th that's a nice <laughs> setup here. Let's see who's gonna make the first move. Oh, looks oh. like Arthas, but he misses. Nova taking a lot of damage nevertheless. And will she get out of there? Oh nope, doesn't look like it. One more blow from Tyrael and she goes Venom down. Pop Nova. Nande was ooh. also engaged upon by Ufa, but he was able to escape thanks to a vault. And here comes the engagement from For Great Honor to try and pick up a kill for their side. But they're being forced to back up here due to the inclusion of Faustad. Faustad able to jump away from Chen and Kerrigan as well. And Chen not able to get any kills. Yeah, let's uh, check out the talents since we do have a little bit of downtime. Uh, Nova is especially interesting now. Ambush Snipe, and we have Gathering Power. This is actually a bit, makes a little bit more sense thanks to the recent patch. Nova's damage on her snipe has actually been decreased by, it's a very small amount, but this little buff brings it up to about the amount of burst it was before. And the Gathering Power is very standard on Nova's due to just bursting down You're targets insane. as quick as possible. Down goes Rhaegar in that bot lane. But uh, like, we were say, like we were saying, also in the talents, we have double in Venom on the side of For Great Honor. Oh, really interesting. We didn't have any changes on him, Venom, did we? Nope, it's still as good as ever. It is huge damage, <laughs> but it doesn't stack, so you need to be very careful of that. All right, now we have For Great Honor in control of the shrine, and it looks like they have a pretty decent position here in the mid. Double clairvoyance is popped, and they want to stay clear of that breeze moving in again. And Falstad trying to recapture the Sun Shrine. Yep, Falstad is attempting to do it. Needs to be careful though, does not want to get caught out by Chen and if anyone else is in that area. However, Nova needs to be careful here. She's going on to Nunday. Nunday did not see the cloak, but Nova face checking with her snipe and was able to scout that out very smartly. And Chen, now being engaged upon, is going to be able to escape thanks to his health and his shield, but taking a lot of damage and that's going to give. Team Potato, the top shrine for free. Arthur's going to attempt to go for the bot shrine, but he's going to run into two people. And he does not get stunned. Oh, that was pretty close, though. In Venom. 
Wow! He goes down. Yeah, those that dark blue and venom definitely paid off already. Uh, Merchant Lord got the kill here, and now they have enough people here in the middle to maybe push uh, Nande back. And there's the grasp taking her out. Nande being That's four kills for four great honor. They were taking the hot shots as well. Just go once again. Another ability that was nerfed, but is still pretty decent when it comes to bursting down your target. Top lane, there is a bit of a fight. Team Potato have a bit of advantage on the help, but it's not enough when it's four versus two. Down goes Falstead, because Nova roaming up from the middle lane, and now. This as should be the Dragon as Shrine. If can hold that bottom shrine, then they're gonna get a free Dragon Knight. Yeah, this should be it. Oh, and there we go. Dragon Knight has been popped. Nice stun there on him, and uh, he will have to go back for a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll see the rotation here on, on him. He should rotate between uh, mid and bottom lane. Well, let's see. First, getting the towers at the gates down, of course. Yep, on the first Dragon Knight. First Dragon Knight is actually considered by a lot of people to be very pointless. It's You're never going to get more than maybe the towers and the walls. I've never seen a Dragon Knight in a professional game get more than both towers and the wall, and that's a very efficient Dragon Knight. So like you said, once you've cleared up a bit of the mid lane, you should definitely rotate to another lane and try and get something else. Kill that tower, and I'd say leave the wall. The wall will go down just to minions, but no, it was not able to get the Dragon Knight out of there in time, so it does pop down before it can rotate and do some extra damage elsewhere, due to the very very nice focus there from Team Potato. Well, they did have a little bit of a split push going on. Uh, bottom lane is completely out of ammo. They almost took down the gates as well. And in the top lane, uh, at least a little bit of armor gone on the towers. So, um, yeah, that split push did work out. And let's see what they're going to do next here. No camps have been taken so far. I think this was the first one right now. Uh, no, the. Oh, for, for Potato, yeah, because uh, the For Great Honor did take their easy camp a bit earlier. But uh, I'd like to point out that we do have bribe sacks on both teams. Faustad on uh, Team Potato and Brightwing on For Great Honor. So they're going to be able to be, gonna be saving those up, likely for hard camps. Nande! Where's that oh, Venom? Oh, the Orbital Strike! Oh. Getting her. Nice job here, Forever QT. Good timing on that orbital strike. She almost got out of position, but not quite. Not quite managing to Beautiful do so. Beautiful precision strike there. Really just letting Nande think he was home free and then picking him off. Just completely harsh. And having a look at some of the other ultimates, we have very standard stuff. We have Earthstorm Fire on the Rhaegar, Maelstrom on the Kerrigan. Judgment still being taken on Ufa despite the nerf. It is still a very good engaged target ability despite the damage reduction. Uh, the Bruisers have been taken uh, by Team Potato in the top lane. They're doing some decent damage, taking out the first tower now. And even the second tower, with these three heroes pushing, should fall here any second. And now that the towers and gates also give XP, that's a nice little boost there. Yep, in the bot lane though, right wing was fighting Rhaegar there and was losing, but Nova once again roaming from her mid lane is gonna come down, kill off Rhaegar, and they're gonna be able to get this bottom bruiser camp and then move up and probably take that shrine. Nande needs to be careful where he engages here because Nova will kill him. Oh, Nep's in a little bit of trouble as well, but Merchant Law coming out to help him, so they should be in a good position. And there we go. Capture could be going on now for Great Honor. Oh. Merchant Low trying to stop Breeze, but oh, Rasmus is not get, getting there in time. And Nepsa once again is in the Dragon Knight. And looks like he wants to push down bot lane now, since they do have the Bruises down there, doing a little bit of damage already. Nande quite low as well. And there comes the first Fire Breath. Yep, they're going to be doing as much damage as they can. Here comes the majority of Team Potato here, except for Fausta, who's trying to stay up and deal with this pretty heavy push with Bruises as well in the top lane. Mid lane has been completely abandoned here, but in comes the Judgment onto Indivum. Indivum does go down, block it up, and the essential healing onto Breeze to keep him alive. Maelstrom was popped, but it's being used as more as an escape thing, just to do damage as he runs and kite them away. Ooh, nice Karen, defensive precision escape. strike. Yep, the, help, the uh, combination of the Maelstrom and the Precision Strike did force the enemy team away, and Nova now going in, picks off the Rhaegar. Nepso now in not a great position, but they able to get his stun down, and Nova comes in, picks off the, uh, that was the Arthas, and now it's just Breeze alive, and he's gonna have to be, he is far too low. Thousand in the top lane also having to back up, not really able to deal with Chen, just how strong that shield is. 
Yeah, Shen get, did quite a bit of damage up here uh, alongside the bruisers. And they almost, uh, well, they, they took out all the gates, they took out the towers. And did a little bit of damage on the, on the, um, on the tower in the, um, in the uh, fort as well. And there's the bribe on the siege camp. Yeah, just quickly, just quickly while this stuff is happening, while it's just mercenaries pushing, gonna have a quick look at the talents. We can see double sprint on the side of four great honor on the Ufa and the bright wing. From the bright wing is likely for escape from Ufa. That's gonna be all for the engage. Not yeah, the Nova. Divine Hurricane just running in there, yeah, popping exactly. the Divine Hurricane. That's just massive. And Brightwing, we did notice that uh, she was taken out in that last fight. So I guess it does make sense to, uh, to go for sprint yeah. with her. Need a bit more escape as Brightwing. Your own ability gives you escape, but you want to be using that on a teammate to keep them alive. And the most important uh, ability here we can notice is on Nova. The fact she does not have rewind anymore, it was removed from her kit. She has taken spell shield instead to stop herself being burst down into them. Sprint's not going to help you here. He is going to oh. go down. Down goes Brightwing. Nice pick up here for Team Potato. And they've not been doing so far, um, so so well in these uh, team fights so far, but getting individual hero pickups in every once in a while does help out. Um, especially getting back with that uh, two level disadvantage now. Very much so. And there's one thing I would really like to point out. We have seen spectacular clairvoyances and spectacular far sights from both teams here. Yem is actually getting completely destroyed there. Divine Storm was used just to kill off Rhaegar. A bit overkill if you ask me. But now Antihero is having to fight Jani, uh, Jani and Nande on his own. He's going for it though. Popping his own goes on to Jani. Picks him off. He's now turning on to Nande. In comes Brightwing to assist him. Oh, but Antihero, he might be in Nande. trouble. Arf is also moving in. Here. Oh, he comes Kerrigan. Picks off Nande. Neve is here as well. He does not have to find Storm anymore. But they're still just going on to it. Antihero pops out of his ult. He's just going to take the shrine. While Kerrigan and Nebs take push away Arthas. And uh, Breeze already managed to escape to, via the lower lane. But there's Nova going to try and pick him off. But Breeze, a bit too tanky, going to be able to escape. But this does mean it's going to be yet another Dragon Knight for, for great honor. Third Dragon Knight already. They're really, really showing a strong, strong play in this game. And let's see if they can now push down the bot lane or if they're gonna go straight for the mid lane and take they're out the. Mid. There's no towers or anything left for them to kill. They might as well kill a four, and this is the nearest one. They're gonna push it down while Chen once again continues to bully Falsad in this top lane. Falsad just can't be dealing with this. And <laughs> Forever QT completely pumps away Breeze there. He's gonna get that judgment out of there. Just remove the CC. And they will get this middle lane for. They're probably gonna back up here, maybe rotate somewhere or look for a bit of a fight. And Falstad in the top lane goes down, Chen diving deep, and it gets the kill. Chen amazing at this, and now Kerrigan is looking for a pick off there, and it looks like the uh, 4K Honor are actually going to go in here while the Dragonite split pushes the top lane, and they get another kill. And they get the kill, they will get the top lane as well, now that Chen is moving in as well, and looks like uh, just snaps in Merchant Law trying to uh, stop the remainder of the team from coming up there. But nope, they want to force another team fight, let's see if that's going to work out. Yep, nope, uh, Breeze and Nande backing off, uh, wisely so. Um, but the Dragonite is gone now, so they could be looking to take their Bruiser Cap. Yep, looks like that's what they're looking to take their Bruiser Cap, but there's already a four great order in there looking for the opportunity themselves. But here comes a lot of Team Potato. Fasset also flying up, so it could perform a pincer maneuver here if they decide to go in. Nande just continuing to poke this. In comes Anti here onto Nande, they're doing so much damage with that burst. Man, he's all immediately pumps himself to keep himself alive. Forever QT gets a gauge point with Judgment, but it does not do as much damage as it used to. Not as good a gauge as he needed. Nande is now taking a lot of damage. There is a very nice rain of vengeance there, but still gets picked off. The heals from Ufa and Brightwing combined are just too much for Team Potato. They can't get in. In comes Chen again onto Breeze, keeping him well out of this fight. And they're going to get the kill onto Arthur's incredible job here by Four Great Honor. Just so much sustain and so much engage. And even people like Chen are doing so much damage with stuff like combination att attack. It means that he gets a 200% crit on his next basic attack after kicking. And he has increased his slow with a touch of honey on his barrel. So just doing an incredible job and just able to burst down Falstad with abilities like this is really impressive by Antihero. 
Yeah, he's doing a really good job with that. Ooh, but he looks like he might be in trouble now. Nope, uh, not with a two he's level, a uh, three level <laughs> advantage now. And they're level 20 as well. So um, we should check out what their level 20 talents are, but maybe after this fight. Okay. Uh, we can actually, uh, if you cast the, if you keep an eye on the fight, I will quickly have a look at the talents. We have Bolt on Nova as some escape. We have the upgrade on the uh, Maelstrom for Kerrigan. Currently, Brightwick has yet to select hers. Divide Hurricane, of course, on Ufa, and Resurgence, despite the nerf, is still being taken on Chen. Yeah, I think it does make sense. They, they don't want to have a turnaround happen now, and with that three-minute cooldown, it's still a pretty strong talent to take. And Brightwing's taken Storm Shield. Okay. Which will likely be used um, soon here if they plan on going in, which looks like it. There's the split Oh, by Divine Hurricane hitting so well. And Ray got taken up before the Ancestral Healing uh, actually takes place. And Jesmus. There we go. He's so low. There comes the body block out of Antihero. In comes the Earthstorm Fire. The rage attack from Earthstorm Fire picks him off. And now it is just Breeze. He's trying to keep himself alive. Antihero has been popped out of his ult, but he's still going on to Breeze. Picking off, he's taking both, he's taking two keeps and a four oh, here. He's gonna go down. Brightwing he's keeping him down. alive. Brightwing's gonna try and finish off Breeze though, but Breeze, who's such kiting, he's gonna be able to take out Brightwing. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was pretty incredible. Brightwing shouldn't have sacrificed him herself there, but they have four giants now pushing here. Um, they gotta push down the keep and do some decent damage on the core as well. They'll get, they'll get mid keep as well if they actually went onto it here, but here comes Breeze, <laughs> and he's scared them. They're gonna back up. They're gonna play it safe for Great Order, taking the top and bottom shrines, and they'll get a Dragon Knight. They will use this to push down middle lane, take out that keep, and possibly go for a finish as well. Kerrigan actually waiting here, seeing if she can get a pick off for anyone trying to contest one of these shrines. But Dragon Knight has already been taken, and they're gonna move in looking for their opportunity to try and end the game. Yeah, I think it's gonna happen here. I mean, uh, what can what can Team Potato really do? Uh, maybe if they get a really good team fight outside of their main base. Um, Kerrigan's just standing there. Oh, here she comes. Oh, she She's wants to lure him in. She attack. really wants to lure him in. And now that Kerrigan Dragon, comes in. Dragonite is just staying back to try and lure them in to try and make them overextend. Kerrigan looking for opportunity, but it looks like they finally given up on that due to the chain engage, and they're just gonna go in on it. Nade with a great raid of vengeance once again, but gets taken out by the divine hurricane. <laughs> out goes Rhaegar, and everyone else is going to be picked off. Down goes Felstead. Breeze having to escape. Yim is trying to heal up his team desperately, but you can't stop this push. And they're just going straight for the core here. Going to completely ignore that keep. It is three versus five here in favor of for great honor. They're going to pick off Arthas here. Oh, there comes the kick on Rasmus. Jim's trying to get out of there, but he's stunned. Mercy Law gets him. And Rhaegar goes down, and now it's only and Breeze and Arthas left alive. Can he survive again? He's knee drop low, and he does finally get picked off. It is just Ramison alive. They will like to kill him off just for show. And down he goes, and that will be a GG. Down goes the court, and that is for great honor taking the game. Very well played. Yep, uh, really, really strong play by them. Um, little, I mean, that, that was pretty much a walkover um, after the early game. In the early game, they had to watch out, but after that, they just stomped them.